Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. On this channel I talk about fragrance, skincare, fashion and the finer things in life and today we are talking about Narciso Rodriguez for her line. So I have five samples in front of me right now like so but today we're going to be talking about six fragrances in total the sixth in line being Fleur Musc Eau de Parfum. I don't have the sample for that one because I uh, used up a full bottle of that uh, Fleur Musque and I know the fragrance by heart but I have the samples for the other ones especially uh, the newest release Musque Noir with the uh, Suede Accord and also uh, Pure Musque uh, a musk uh, very clean one the white bottle what we don't have in today's lineup is pure musk absolute which i haven't been able to try so giving you a heads up right now that's not going to be in the realm of this video but if you are interested in the other fragrances in the for her line i think this video is for you what are you going to do uh go grab a drink i have my decaf coffee here so it's let me see it's 5 11 p.m. in Pittsburgh. I am alone in my apartment right now. So I was feeling bored and I said, you know what? Let's just turn on my iPhone 10R and then, you know, with which I'm recording this video. And, you know, let's have a chat. Go grab a drink. I have my, told you, decaf coffee here. Let me take a sip actually before we start our conversation. But if you're telling me, oh no, I'm hungry, go grab a snack. Come find me here, Narciso Rodriguez, and the very famous line, designer line for her, is here with us today, and we are starting our conversation. All right, so for her, so I have my iPad today, actually, because I wanted to, okay, I want to keep this video quick and short kind of like a pill I give you the kind of like the pointers regarding this for her line and at the end of the video I'm just gonna rank them from my least favorite to my most favorite and I just want to do everything within 20 minutes so for that reason I have my iPad here and I, what I'm gonna do is actually I'm just gonna go them one by one and I'm going to look at Pragmatica to see what's going on, you know, what are the notes? I'm not gonna really go into the notes of it, but I just wanna see, you know, the whole like for her line in front of me to give you a better uh representation of the line. So let's go and pull up for her actually, and we are going to start our conversation with uh the one that I don't have in front of me right now and that is the one that I used up uh, uh, when, when did I finish my bottle it was I think 2018 2019 I can't remember right now you know with the COVID and everything the concept of time is now so blurred in my mind it feels like you know we're floating in time let me know if you feel like that way you know in the comment section but i totally understand that feeling and i'm going through it as we are filming this video together so and the, my cat my cat is going crazy because you know cats have no closed door policy and guess what the door to our bedroom is closed and dobby our male sphinx cat is not having it but too bad honey i am filming we have a serious business piece of business here so all right i'm gonna put the picture up on the screen and that is actually fleur musque eau de parfum i like this fragrance i used up the whole bottle why the opening of this fragrance is fantastic oh my god every time i spray this fragrance you know within that 30 minutes of opening oh my god compliments go or everyone says this smells so good it smells so refreshing but at the same time attractive I totally agree. I think in the for her line, the opening, when it comes to the opening, that initial blast of the fragrances, Fleur Musque Eau de Parfum is unparalleled. It is so good, but I'm gonna tell you, you will have the for her DNA, Misk, but you will have that opening, which is a little sharp, a little spicy. So imagine that, you know, there is a frame 
like you know on the screen right now and that frame is like spicy kind of like peppery and all that for her signature misc comes through that you know spicy frame and you add to it uh that you know melange mixture a little flower notes that makes things a little light-hearted so good well why don't you have another bottle you're saying that it's really good. Why is this fragrance not a repeat purchase? I'm telling you, the performance is abysmal. So the opening is great, but then from that opening, like very high, you go like, oh, performance just like plummets. And then, you know, it just turns into almost like another for her with another like kind of like you know vibe to it it's still good it's still great i never regret buying the bottle and using it and actually i was traveling to los angeles and venture in california with my friend she flew from germany to attend a conference and then you know we uh flew from pittsburgh to california then and then you know i was using this fleur musque de parfum and you know she said this is intoxicating and Yes, I could not agree more. Everyone thinks that way, but the performance. So you want to like, you know, reply it because you want that, you know, blast. You want that, you know, kind of like captivating, intoxicating effect in the opening. But then, you know, you keep spraying yourself and then you're like, okay, my bottle is like, you know, halfway empty. That happens. So if you're okay with that, and if you like me, uh, is a sucker for good opening and if you want your fragrance to come from Narciso Rodriguez for her line like Dobby you know scratching the door I think Fleur Masque Eau de Parfum is a good choice after that I think they came up with another Fleur mask and they made it Eau de Toilette and they called it Eau de Toilette Fleurale I'm gonna put the bottle on the screen and if I can go in the Fragrantica's web page. Where is that? Let me see. Okay. You know what? Okay, vent. There is new iOS apparently for iPad, and I just upgraded my iPad overnight. And right now, the screens are getting scrambled. It's not really functioning. I know this is an old iPad, but I wasn't really expecting that. You know, I was just gonna have good time here. All right, I have it here. Uh, so this is a lighter version. This is a little more citrusy than the um, Fleur Mus Eau de Parfum, but uh, fret not. Don't worry, that citrusy opening uh, dissipates, fades away quickly. You know, I'm not a big fan of citrus fragrances. And what is left, in my opinion, is actually, uh, it is, kind of like similar to other designer fragrances. Whenever I like smell this fragrance, I'm reminded of Chloe, which I'm not a big fan of. Maybe I'm a little reminded of like Muyi Muyi. Uh, I don't know. It's just, it is nice, but I think it's more generic. It's lighter. Maybe it's more geared toward like summer, you know, uh, time. But to be honest, even with the Fleur Musque Eau de Parfum, you can use 24 seven, 365, I think, anywhere. If you're anywhere between 25 and 100, you can use that. Home, office, whatever, date night, dinner. I think Fleur Musque de Parfum works. This works too. This is lighter. But I just don't see the point in spending money on this one. I just have to be honest. If you're going to go with these, like, you know, cool pink bottles, I would just go for Fleur Musque de Parfum. All right. So the next for her, we are talking today is whoa yes for her eau de toilette oh my god this is such a classic fragrance this is unique this is feminine this is wow this is very well made i i love this fragrance i mean it smells beautiful it has that signature narcissus rodriguez misc to it uh i'm gonna be honest would i ever be wearing this fragrance at this point in my life no i'm kind of like finding this a little boring at this moment because i've worked in places that this fragrance uh was worn very heavily so i know the sillage i know the vibe this fragrance uh gives it is very very powdery misty kind of 
fragrance. You have to try it. It's very unique. It's signature. And it's totally Narciso Rodriguez for her line. It is the OG, I think. In spite of the fact that this is an eau de toilette, I think performance and I think the strike, uh, you know, the initial blast and the effect, the longevity afterwards is really, really good. I think this is a good performing eau de toilette. I have to be honest. The only thing that I would like to warn you about with this is that I told you I have been in places where this fragrance um, was worn very heavily by women. The sillage is very nice, but in some uh, skins, on some, you know, uh, people, I think this pulls a little kind of like the feminine sweaty, kind of like the yoga pants vibe. To be honest, I don't mind it. I think it gives a little sexy, it gives a little edgy vibration, feeling to it. But, you know, if this fragrance pulls such a vibe, such a, you know, journey on your skin where it kind of like moves toward the lightness, sweaty feeling, you might want to shy away, you might want to stay clear, because the sillage, if that sillage hits someone else uh, around you, in the nose, they might be like, whoa. Well, hey, what's going on? But hey, it's still feminine. It's still musky, I have to tell you. But it's a musk that is, you know, attractive in my opinion. And I actually like the performance a lot. Uh, many people wear this fragrance. Uh, and I think they should continue doing so. But I think I'm kind of like over it a little. And actually, my main point that I would like to talk to you about today is when it comes to for her, I prefer Eau de Parfum, which is on your screen right now, more than Eau de Toilette. So what is the difference? The difference is in the notes, apparently, according to Fragrantica. But I think in Eau de Parfum version, the uh, that, you know, initial blast and the muskiness is a little kind of like, you know, filed out around the edges. It is smoother. I think the smoothness comes from the addition of florals, kind of like rose. In my opinion, please take no offense, these two are beautiful fragrances. I think for her, um, Eau de Parfum smells a little more luxurious, if I may say. You know, it's a little more kind of like, you know, refined to my nose. And for that reason, actually, I prefer, come on, honey, I prefer Eau de Parfum more than Eau de Toilette when it comes to for her. I think the opening is a little, you know, kind of, it feels better to my nose. Uh, but I I have uh, smell this one being worn around me as well. It is beautiful too. It's, you know, absolutely feminine. It's so sexy. You can't go wrong, you know, between 25 and 100. You know, if you are like younger, you know, and if you want something more dynamic, something more sweet, something more kind of like sexy in a different way, maybe you just go for like the old Poison Girl or, you know, Prada Candy or, you know, even like the Angel Alien. They are more like, you know, wow, let's go have fun kind of fragrances. But this is more, you know, maybe, uh, let's say, I know, Dobby, you're fine. Everything is fine. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so sorry about that. But hey, on this channel, I don't want to, you know, cut and split the video into a hundred different pieces. And then, you know, this is kind of like you coming to my apartment. You know, we are having a conversation over coffee, you know, at a table. So this is what we get today. And he is going to get tired. Eventually, he will stop. And hopefully, it's going to happen soon. <laughs> okay. Back to for her eau de parfum, in my opinion, better than eau de toilette, rosy, more, uh, you know, luxurious, smoother, and still really good performance. It's just totally a personal uh, preference. If you try for her eau de toilette, and if you try for her eau de parfum, if you like eau de toilette more than eau de parfum, wow, have at it, go! That's perfect. And if you are like me and you say, you know, I like Eau de Parfum, I think this is a great fragrance. All right. So last two that we are talking about today are the last two releases. So we're going to be talking about Pure Musk. Pure Musk. All right. So I'm just going to put the bottle up on the screen and let me 
talk. Let me just keep the one that we have yet to talk about on my right and the three and the four actually. We'll go on my left that we talked about those and let's talk about pure musk. So I think pure musk is totally engineered. There is nothing natural smelling. There's nothing in that fragrance that smells natural to me. It smells like a shampoo. It smells like a hand soap. It smells like, you know, kind of like for her, but you know, for her uh, has been laundered. <laughs> it feels, it, it kind of like, you know, it's different. So uh, this bottle is on the screen is the white bottle. And what we have here is actually musk, flowers, and cashmere meaning everything is molecular i don't think there is anything natural kind of like the essence here it's all engineered but it's a good creation it's a modern creation it's again not my personal preference but it smells beautiful i mean if you want to smell some like use a fragrance that is inoffensive you can go anywhere with this fragrance teachers dentists doctors you know office wear outside you know starbucks barista everyone anyone and one thing about this fragrance is that it is so neutral it is so inert it's just like there is no sexual anything about this fragrance it's asexual in a different way actually you know a man can wear this because this just giving this just says all right i'm going out i took a shower and i have i'm wearing my laundered clothing you know i took care of myself i'm clean and i look good and i smell clean all right a man can do that a gay can do that a lesbian can do that. anyone a hermaphrodite can do that so in my opinion this fragrance is quite you know kind of in that sense a little maybe lack personality but not in a bad way it's just like too neutral too aloof maybe but it's a good choice if you like the smell if you like clean smelling smells i don't think this has the performance that lives up to original for her on the toilet or the parfum but it's definitely not bad give this a try you see it on your screen right now pure musk uh, Narciso Rodriguez for her and they come up with the pure mask absolute and I haven't been able to try that so if you have experienced that fragrance please please lecture me down in the comment section hey you didn't do your homework but I did and here is how uh, pure mask absolute smells like give us your opinions let's read down in the comment section and let's learn and by the way talking about comments the channel you click on and the video you are watching right now is a bilingual channel each and every video comes in two different languages this is making too much noise uh one of them is in turkish and i just filmed that and the other one is in english and i'm filming that with you right now you're watching that and they are exactly the same so all you need to do is follow the signs on the channel where i have the small american flag and that videos and that playlist is actually english and you can you know access my videos and watch them on this channel i don't like each and every fragrance on the same on the like you know face of the planet i have my opinions and i don't sugarcoat that pr gift product placement no i buy everything with my own money and i give you my thoughts unfiltered we are done with that you know everyone likes every fragrance you know if you are thinking about a brand just maybe in my channel there might be a truth about that brand you know i have a truth about shalini fragrance du bois you know keep watching we'll talk about more brands we'll talk about more fragrances i'm gonna do a big review on house of sillage because they are giving like you know free stuff pr like sand on a beach it's just it's obnoxious and i have experienced many of these fragrances and i i look forward to filming that video and discussing that brand with you but you know back to this video please show your support if you are a gay ally if you are a feminist and if you are fed up with all those fragrance channels where they like you know push you heteronormativity sexy sense you know teenagers make sure your teacher is attracted by you kind of like crazy shit if you smell this your partner will come 2021
come on. If you're done with that, by the way, I'm a scientist. I'm a biologist with cancer, master's in cancer biology, so we don't do those kind of stupid things on this channel. Yes, a fragrance can be sexy, a fragrance can be alluring, seductive, but it's not going to make me come. You know, it takes more than that. We, we, it takes more than that for us to be able to, you know, climax. So show me your support, subscribe, like, dislike. I just wanted to tell you this. And I am going to move on to the last fragrance that I'm going to be talking to you about today, which is the latest release, Musk Noir, Musk Noir black musk whatever with this suede accord all right so another nice release in the designer world and if you like fragrances like ex nilo love shop if you like azedine elia or de parfum the classic black bottle you know you might like this a lot for example if you like tuscan leather by tom ford by no means i'm saying that they are dupe or familiar or like you know similar excuse me you can actually enjoy this fragrance because there is a juicy not that juicy kind of like the kind of a little dry fruity uh suede with musk for her musk signature right up front i'm feeling the suede accord in this fragrance so maybe uh, considering that this is not really hot better friendly this is maybe more geared toward you know this bottle on your screen toward like you know colder months maybe a little challenging for office wear or professional settings but it is nice would i go and buy had to buy the full bottle of this fragrance miss noir no i won't but it is nice and if you like the smell i think performance is okay too so you can go and spend your money um uh, the only thing that i would like to kind of like point out here is that you know I feel the suede accord. There is some leathery feeling to it. And if someone grabs that sillage in the room you are in, they might um, kind of like perceive that a little in a different way, you know, because the suede accord is not that familiar. Not everyone around us is wearing uh, Chanel Cuir de Russie, which I like, or the other leather fragrances. So it might come as a little shocking feeling to them but it's not uh obnoxious it's not um revolting it's just different and then you know i just wanted to warn you uh, warn you that you know that even after that you know kind of not super juicy fruitiness plum no kind of like walks away what you might be left on your skin you have to try this on your skin might be a little too leathery for you so i'm just giving you a heads up regarding that so okay we are going to stop this video here i have talked about six fragrances let me rank them quickly so my least favorite is fleur musco de toilette floral and then comes the uh, pure musk the white bottle and at the fourth spot uh, my choice would be i think i'm gonna go with uh, musk noir and the top three is i think at the third spot i'm just gonna go with uh, for her classic or the toilet and then the second spot uh just because the performance is lacking i'm gonna go with fleur musk or the parfum and my favorite from this line is no other than for her eau de parfum and my cat is going crazy let me take a sip thank you so much for hanging out with me thank you so much for watching my videos i hope my cat did not drive you crazy like he did to me i'm just gonna go out and i'm gonna see what his problem is but because the other one katniss our other sphinx cat is sleeping she's fine i don't know the other boy is speaking to me right now we're gonna see what's going on but thank you so much for spending time with me thank you so much for hanging out with me i cannot wait to see you at the next one take care everyone I, okay, I'm I, I'm coming. <laughs>